वेलकम टू द मूक कोर्स साइबर स्मार्ट टीचर 2.4 साइबर स्मार्टनेस ऑन सोशल मीडिया इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी व्हाट आर द डोंट्स ऑफ इट डू नॉट यूज सोशल मीडिया फॉर इन एप्रोप्रिएट पर्पस अवॉइड यूजिंग द सोशल मीडिया फॉर इन एप्रोप्रिएट पर्पस व्हाट एवर यू सर्च व्हाट एवर यू डू ऑन सोशल मीडिया विल गेट बैक टू यू सो कीप योर पर्पस क्लीन एंड प्रोफेशनल सो दैट द थ्रेट्स will be away from you don't use social media as a substitute for face to face interaction social media should be used to enhance learning not replace traditional methods of instruction and communication there are many hindrances to use the technology that's why keep it at minimal keep keep it uh, when and where it is useful and required so that the face to face interaction will be more when there are limitation geographical limitation then only use the uh, social media suppose you want to contact some expert you want to communicate internationally globally then social media is good but if you want to communicate with local with uh, the expert surrounded teacher surrounded you are expected to call or meet face to face and have academic discussions don't share personal information avoid sharing personal and private information about yourself about students about other individuals on social media as this can be a violation of the privacy everyone has right to private uh, privacy and you should be sensible while sharing information not only about yourself but about your students about your schools and other colleagues etc don't tolerate the cyber bullying or harassment take a strict and swift actions to address any uh, instances of cyber bullying or harassment that occurs on social media platform for yourself or for your students always try to make them aware make the students aware the, all the stakeholders aware that yes there can be cyber bullying there can be trolling happen on the social media so we should be very mindful what we are sharing what we are liking and disliking and of what we are the members of different groups so be careful and if something happening with you or your students you will have to take again legal actions against such activity because that can be cost of life of someone don't rely solely on social media for communication make sure that students have alternative means of communication and access to educational resources in case of social media platform experience technical difficulties the digital divide that exists in the society should be tackled if there are some students are not able to access the social media due to the technical difficulties the other resources the same resources can be provided in the offline form like the prints can be provided the offline interaction can be done the discussions can be done so online platform social uh, media platform should not be solely used it can be used as an additional as an support to the learning materials these are the some of the don'ts of social media thank you for watching complete video